Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I built this simple router table with an adjustable sliding fence for my trim router. So that's the sides done, now to join them together. So that's the frame complete now. The top will just sit on there. So that's the router base secured to the acrylic. And it just drops in. I'm going to use a force in a bit to enlarge the hole in the top, and it's going to, I'm going to use the same size hole as in the existing router base.
I'm going to use some of this tea track I've got left over to mount into the top of the table. And the idea being that this will have a bolt going through and it will slide back and forth on it. So I'm going to have two bits of tea track one here, and one here. So I need to mark where the tea track is going to go. of the table. But first I'm going to actually screw the pieces of uh, tea track in. So I'm going to then put the templates around, take them away and then I know exactly how much uh, I need to route out. sliding mechanism done. You can turn these, move it to where you want it, make sure it's square. If I was going to make sure it's square properly I'd put a, uh, a square on here to make sure the, it's all lined up. I'm just tighten these down. And there's your fence. That's all the glue dried and it all finished. I've installed the router and off camera I've just chamfered with my hand plane a little groove under here to collect sawdust and prevent it from, um, from catching. I might finish it with some wax of some sort but for now it will do. Time to test it. Use the 
sham bit there and as you can see it's put quite a nice edge on nothing too uh, fancy but this is exactly the sort of stuff that I want to use the, the router for um, I'm going to crank it up a little bit higher and uh, just take a bit more off There you go, nice chamfer on there. What I'm particularly pleased with is the uh, is the dust extraction. There's um, there's no dust floating around. It's a really good design. I wish it was my own, but um, it's not. But it's uh, it's definitely working how it should. So happy with it. So that's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. I'm really pleased with how the router table turned out. The one thing that I probably will redo in the future and I'm not happy with was the hole I cut in the acrylic for the router itself is slightly off centre um, and it's not a great finish because I stupidly used a force and a bit so if you're going to do that yourself don't use a force and a bit use a hole, a hole saw um, or something similar. I hope you found it useful, if you did please give it a thumbs up, um, you can see links to some of my other videos will be up here um, and up here. Please feel free to uh, to leave comments on this video and let me know what you think. And also, um, please become a subscriber if you're not one already. To subscribe, you can click this link down here. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye-bye.